Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's Dani. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to crochet these beautiful velvet scrunchies. They are extremely easy to make. You can make them in five minutes. They are so pretty and they're great to use up all your stash or whatever yarn you have left from other projects. They're great for a last minute gift or to sell. They're just amazing and you can make them so easy and so quickly. So now before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it already so then you get all the notifications when I upload a new video. And now let's see what you need to make these scrunchies. So you're gonna need velvet yarn. I'm using these super little balls because you really don't need much to make the scrunchies, but you can use any other kind of bulky or super bulky weight yarn. I will use a five millimeter crochet hook, scissors, a tapestry needle, especially this one that is very pointy, and one of these little threading tools. And of course, you're gonna need a hair elastic. Okay, so to, be to begin, you're going to leave a long tail, grab your yarn and your elastic, your crochet hook, and pass your yarn through the elastic and now chain two and as you can see I'm using both strands of yarn held together so I changed one and now two and now you're going to do two double crochet still with um, the two strands held together one double crochet and two double crochets and now that your yarn is secure you can leave the tail aside we're gonna weave that in at the end and now continue working with one strand of yarn your working yarn that's coming from the ball and now all you gotta do is double crochet all the way around your elastic about 60 to 70 double crochets that's the number of stitches that i would usually do but this is gonna depend obviously on how big your elastic is or how small and also um, what weight of yarn you're using so if you're using let's say a worsted or a super bulky then the number is going to vary okay so now just continue double crochets all the way around And so as you get to the middle, you can pull your live stitches back so then you get that scrunched look and also that's going to allow you more room to continue your double crochets until reaching 60 or 70 stitches. So continue doing this all the way around. So this is how your scrunchie should be looking like after one row and if you're happy with it you can just leave it like that cut your yarn within the ends and your scrunchie is done but i like the fuller look let's say a little bit bigger and i don't know the the ruffles that it creates i like them a little bit bigger as well and as you can see it's different so we're gonna do one extra round that's gonna give us that full look so for the next round, all you want to do is join to continue working in the round. So insert your hook and slip stitch, chain one, and then single crochet in that same space. Then in the next stitch, you're going to single crochet two together, one and two. In the next one, single crochet one. And in the next space, single crochet two together. And it's very simple to just continue single crochet one then single crochet two together single crochet one and then two together again 
and you're gonna continue doing this all the way around and that's gonna give us that super full look and I don't know I just I just love it so if you like it just like I do continue with round number two so when you're done this is how it should be looking like now you're going to pull your yarn cut the tail and as you can see this is what I have left you really don't need much yarn to make scrunchies so pull the yarn and now grab your tapestry needle and the little threading tool which I love everything is gonna be listed in the description box and just like that so much easier especially with velvet yarn and now all you gotta do is within the end and as you can see this pointy needle it's super super helpful especially working with velvet yarn because we're not weaving the end around the fiber the um, needle is going through the fiber which is helping tremendously to weave in the ends and to make sure that the yarn is not going to go anywhere especially if you're making these as a gift or to sell you want to make sure it's nice and secure so when you're done cut the yarn and do the same thing for the little tail and that is it this is how your scrunchie is gonna look like at the end like I said super easy quick to make perfect for market perfect for last minute gift so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have any questions please leave them in the comments below and check the description box below as well you're gonna have all the links to the materials I use and also the link to my blog where you can find tons of free patterns crochet and knitting patterns so thank you again for watching this video and subscribing I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one bye